God is still a deliverer. I mean, you know, he's still God. So just listen to these words.
expect when you come to a church? Did you expect that God will meet all your needs? Did you expect that God will do things through you in your life tonight? Yes. Amen? Well, that's one thing that I would like to talk to you and his hearers. Expecting the best increase your abilities. You know, as pastors, uh, when I wake up in the morning, that expect that great things will happen on that day. When I come to this ministry, and every Friday, I expect the great things. <clears throat> but I don't know what to expect. But I ask mercy, and I expect the best thing to happen not only to me, but it's happened to me. Because expecting the best honors God. You know, we talk about we are children. God is our fathers. When you accepted Jesus as your Lord and your Savior, and God said, you are my child. So if you are the, you, you, if you are the child, then I expect that the best things will happen to you every day when you wake up. Amen? Amen. Why? Because the Psalm, if they have the Bible, you go to the Book of Psalm, and Book of Psalm 5, and verse 3, in the morning of the Lord, you heard my voice. In the morning, I lay my request before you and wait in expectations. What did it say? Lord, when I wake up, not expect the great things happen to me. I expect that I lay my request. Amen. That I expect that great thing. So you expect the great thing, then you will get what? Blessed from God. Amen. Why? Because that's what honors God. You know, so many people that I know, they wake up and go, oh my God, it's a morning. Oh Lord. You know, but we need to start expecting the best when we wake up. You say, well, pastors, I was not thinking this. Well, you breathe, right? You wake now, right? You are at the church now, right? Then you have a what? Hope in tomorrow. So we need to expect that. So when you expect the best, you are trusting God to do great things. Oh, I don't think you guys want to hear me. And I said, when you expect the best, you are, what did I say? Trusting God, amen, to do great things. Amen. You know, you guys know Muhammad Ali, right? He passed away. He's a great, what? Irish. He's a great fighter in the entire what careers. That's a tremendous record, right? And that's impressive. But he only lost how many fights? Five? No, two fights. He only lost two fights, but those two fights, he had a one day comment. In the, those two fights, do he admit the he prayed, he knew when he died, and he said, what? Oh, I'm going to leave the Lord. You know, he was defeated of both those what? Because of the love of expectations. Love of expectations. It is made room for failures. And what happened? He fell. You know, athletes understand they know that. That's why they try to keep winning the attitude whenever they get into what? Athlete compass. Think about it. You know, 100 dash runners. And he trained for how many? Four years to the Olympics, right? Four years. Not only he compared, right? Not only he fighting with, not only he trained himself, but he trained for so many years, get to Olympic, and then during that Olympic, he took him four years to get there. Can you imagine that himself? Oh, I'm going to be losing their fight. Oh, I'm going to lose their running. You know what? He's going to lose. 
Because we call it's what? Law of expectations. So, the question is this. Why? Why do you expect the best? Come on, somebody tell me. Why do you expect the best? I already told you the beginning. Honest God. When you expect the best, you are honored to God. It will increase your strength. It will increase your abilities. And most important thing is what? You are honored to God. So when you wake up in the morning, brothers and sisters, how would you expect the best? It doesn't matter where you are. You might be living in the streets. You might live in a tent. You might not have a house. You might not have a brother and sister. You might not have a family. But when you expect it, God will what? Not only get the honors, but you will receive the which you expect. Amen? So expecting the best encourage other people. <clears throat> not only honors God. Not only increase your strength. Your ability, but increase the passions of other, encourage other people. Do you know that is you and I are responsibility to one another? Well, I guess you guys might hear me what I say. You and I have a responsibility to one another. That's why I'm here. You know, I have a church in King Towns. I have a grand church, I have English church. You know, I have a prayer, a, a prayer place. I have many things that I need to do. Matter of fact, I have a, a, a service on Saturday. I have a service on Sunday. I have a service on Wednesday. I have a service in the morning. But why I'm here? Because of my responsibility here to talk to and encourage Amen. to one another. Oh, just 
sitting here is he could have been. You are just sitting there to hearing me, what I got to say, what are the message that God had given me to deliver. You are here to say, Amen. That's enough to encourage one another. Amen. So faith, listen, faith is expecting the best and the attitude of expecting the best is tremendous encouragement to other believers in Christ Jesus. In Christ Jesus. Amen. You know, man named George has found some uh, striking evidence that faith is good for you and it is good for the other with whom you deal. Listen, faith is like muscle. Faith is like muscle. Can we say together, faith? Let's say together, faith is like a muscle. More, listen, the more you use, it's the stronger it's going to out. You work out, right? So when you work out, you push it, right? You do push up, more you push up, you get what? Get stronger. So faith, right? It is what? It's to exercise. And you are going to encourage your people with all about you and they only out to expect fast. So you and I, not only the honest God, but you and I need to encourage one another. So we need to exercise our muscle to do what? To build the body of Christ. Amen? So your faith is exercise. So how do you lead in the expectation? And this situation on us. Well, let me tell you something. The faith is we live in our life here in, in this place with what? The burden and the problem and trials. But we need to expect the best. But the God will come through that I share prophet. Amen? Well, that's expectation. So we can expect the best. That happens. First of all, let me suggest to this. Please, I want to start your day with the expectation of your day. I do And I understand. You might say, well, Pastor, you don't know what I'm going through. Well, you don't know what I'm going through. Well, Pastor, I'm living on the street right now. I have no place to go. Well, you know what? I'm going to tell you something. When I first I came to America, I didn't have anything. I drank. Right? I came here because of my parents, but I didn't expect anything. But you know what? And I started expecting something in my life, and God come through all that. Amen? Amen. Because Psalm, listen, because Psalm 5 3, what's that? Yeah. In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I lay my no. request. So do you lay your no. request no. in the morning together? No. Or when you wake up in the morning, you start no. complaining. No. Or you start talking about how bad or how worse no. or how bad you are in your life. Well, the God is saying, and here's the psalm, and so I lay my request before you, and wait, wait in expectation. You know, we need to wait. I tell you what you When you wake up in the morning, not only really expect the best, but we need to wait. We need to wait. What do you say? Naturally, listen, naturally, when you get up in the morning, Listen, when you get up in the morning, you expect some kind of expectations. Come on, let's be honest. When you wake up in the morning, what do you expect? I'm pretty sure you expect something. I'm pretty sure you expect something through your children, maybe. You expect something that will come through in that morning or afternoon? We all expect 
something. Hey, would you know? So what kind? So we get up with some kind of situation. You either expect it's going to be great today. Or you expect it's just kind of a humble whole day. Or you expect it to be the worst day of my life. So what did you expect when you wake up? You know, when I wake up in the morning, I expect the great things. Hear me what I got to say here in the song. They say, in the morning, I look at my day, I begin it with God. We need to begin with God in the morning. We need to let the God control you. You know, yes, I think. You are going through your days and whatever they expect it. That's what the God is going to do. Amen. So when you know when the God surprise you, And you are going to be through your day and, and certainly God bless you and, and it, it is what? That He gives you a truth and faith. He gives you an encourage, an encounter with the summer that encourages you and you are just surprised by God. And that's what the Bible says, that God is the able to do that all. Amen. Amen. And God is able to do that all thing. So do you expect that God come through? What you come with God here? Do you believe that God is able to do all things? Oh, yes. Amen. 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 Do you really believe that? Amen. Because God is able. So we are the children. And if it's God So we need to start our day with God because that is the way you start a day with what? Expectations. And I'm going to say one thing and look at Psalm 118 and 24. This is the day as the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. We sing this, right? This is the day. This is the legend as the Lord has made, as the Lord has made. Let us rejoice, let us rejoice as we have. This is the day, brothers and sisters. This is the day that the Lord has made. This is the day that God will going to bless you, but you expect the best. This is the day that God wants to give the all. But do you expect that God is able? Amen? Amen. Do you expect that? Rejoicing, listen. Rejoicing is choice. And I was standing back there. And she's here. She's singing and praise and worship. And so over there I've seen her get up and dancing. Because rejoicing is choice. I see the sister dancing, praising, and let the hands of the Lord. And I see the sister praising and dancing. I see the little children who are dancing because they are rejoicing in God. Remember, rejoicing is a choice. Expecting is choice. It is a bit of feelings. It is not an emotion. It is not a, a depend on whether, listen, whether or not you will feel like the best is going to happen. But it is a choice of a faith. It is 
a choice of faith. Just like a choice to rejoice in, in God. Because there are choice to be dancing with the God. There are choice to be praising left the hand of the Lord. It's a choice because God gives you day or the way and smell of the day. Then you need to rejoice. Why? Because God is back the last. Remember, Remember rejoicing is choice. Because the Bible says, in the morning, oh Lord, you hear my voice. How do you begin your day? I have a question. I'm going to ask you a question. How do you begin your day? You know what? It's really makes a difference. Somebody say that if you are beginning your day on the wrong foot, which you are out of step, all day are wrong. That's exactly what it is there. When you wake up, and I pass, and I'm asking you, if God is giving you to tell you, you need to expect it. Or form the faith in the beginning of your day, whether it is what? Really weak, so don't you talk to me. Sad. Or whatever that it is. Because expectancy oh, yeah. and the expect the past is the honor. I know we want to give honor to God. I know we want to give the glory to God. Are you, are you phony? But that's but what remember, you have to keep right with you. you what did you expect? That's what you want to do. You know, somebody suggested this verse. Look at Psalm 118, 24. We'll be good at one of the start every day. And the practice said, every morning when you wake up, and this is it. This is the day has the Lord has been our church. The scientists have even studied, let's even study and they affirm the fact that the way you start your day affects the mood for the rest of the people. So what did you expect when you were what did you expect when you come to church? Rejoicing is a choice. Rejoicing is a choice, but at the same time, expecting the best is your choice. If you want to God bless you, do you want to just like some this piece of bed as Lord has made our rejoice and be glad? Study, show that. Optimism cause a physical change in your mind. We have known a long time that when you think, determine how you act. Am I right? Yes. Yes. I'm going to say one more time. Long time when you think, you determine how you act. And the Bible says, as a man think in the heart, so, yes, is he. Now, there is scientific evidence. There's scientific evidence to provide what the Bible has always said. And that is actually a fact the way you feel physically when you expect the best. Secondly, you need to put the past in your situations. Look for the best in your situation. No matter how terrible your situation is, look for the best there are what in situation. Because look at Roman, let's just look at Roman 828. All things work together for good those who love God, those who are called according to his purpose. Because God
sleep outside. That is the content that God has to in your life. That everything, listen, everything that happened to you and to me has to come through the what? Permissive will cause. Will cause. Listen, even if Satan is doing this to us. It has to touch God. Listen, he had what? Touch God before it's touched him. Because Satan can only operate in the permission that God allowed him to operate. Okay. Yes. Right. 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 yes. If that is true, what did you expect? We always have an excuse, oh, Satan. Oh, we are always excused because of him or her. Well, let me tell you something. Rejoicing is a choice. It doesn't matter what you wear, what you show, or the coffee that you have. So everything that happened to us can be what? Listen, can be used. Did you hear what I said? Can be Used yes. by God for good. Yes. Amen. Amen. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It, it is good. There are a lot of what? Tragic in the life. That is not good. I'm saying that God can use all things work. Now, what does good mean? What does that uh, good mean? It means that which is for God's glory. Not necessarily that what we think is good, but that what you confirm, uh, confirm us to the image of Christ and accomplish the purpose of God in our life. When I say looking for good, I am talking about more than what? Psychology. When I say looking for good, I am not talking more about more than the psychology. And I'm talking about the realization, patterns in your life, and that God is working even though the harmful and painful thing in the pattern. You know, you guys all know this man, Thomas Edison. Thomas Edison was 67 years old. He had worked hard and all of his life and was a very a brilliant, but most of his great what invent, uh, invention was come after, that's after what was called retirement age. At a 67, the great fire burned down his laboratory in New Jersey. Not only do he lost seven million dollars in equipment, but he lost more of his life's work. When it was over, and he has nothing, and he said, you know that's what he said, there is a great volume in disaster because all of our mistakes are burned up and we can start on you. That's the world we need to say that. It doesn't matter what happened to you, it doesn't matter what your past, but this is the day that the Lord has made. And this is the day that we need to give to our God. Amen? Amen. So when you wake up in the morning, it doesn't matter the past is the past, nothing you have to do. So many sins that I committed. But this is the day as the Lord has made. Amen. Tomorrow is a new day. As we wake out and walk out this door, there will be new times and new days. So we need to expect the great things from our God. Amen? Amen. Because respecting the last is on its God. And I'm talking about the real, realization patterns. 
You know, some say that things turn out the best for those who make the best. Things turn out the best for those who make the best of the way turn things out. Did you hear what I'm saying? Things turn out the best for those who make the best of the way things turn out. Not only do he lost seven million dollars in equipment, he lost most of his work. When it's over, he has nothing. But he said once again, there is great value in the disaster because all of our mistakes are burned up and we can start new. Brothers and sisters, this is day we can start new. It doesn't matter what you have been. It doesn't matter what you are now, but this is the day that you could start. So have you found that to be true? So I'm going to ask a question. How do you expect oh, well, you do it to study your day with expectations. Expecting the best as you look at your situation. Then number three, give lesson problem to God. Yes. Give you problem to God. Yes. I see so many brothers and sisters that are curing their problems. Oh my God.
Because why? Because we need to expect the best. We need the great things for the bachelor for tomorrow, but this is the day that's the Lord has today, and this is the day we need to stretch our chin. This is the day we need to receive Jesus. Amen? Amen. Let's everybody bow our head and pray. Everybody bow their head. If you